new data shows people have changed their driving habits because of this traffic on the Washington Bridge. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish has the latest numbers from the Rhode Island DOT. Kayla. Well, so far since the DOT opened three travel lanes in either direction over the bridge, drivers tell 12 News their commutes during the day have been smooth sailing, a big change compared to the last few months. It's been a little rough. Jordan Carpenter lives in East Providence but works in Johnston. He says when the westbound Washington Bridge abruptly shut down in December, his company told everyone to work remotely. Because a lot of people live around like the Rehoboth area, they live around the Seekonk area, and they were trying to commute the Johnston, they just couldn't do it. They're not alone. New data from RIDOT shows a drop in westbound travel on 195 since the bridge breakdown. On Monday, just under 65,000 cars used the westbound detour lanes over the bridge. That's down 33% from the daily average before. You know, all along, we've been asking people to seek alternative routes. East Providence Mayor Bob De Silva says his city has seen a definite shift in traffic since the shutdown. Data from RIDOT shows many westbound travelers are opting to take the Henderson Bridge, about 10,000 more cars per day compared to before the closure. A number of city streets became more congested, too, as drivers tried to avoid the bridge backups. But since RIDOT opened a third detour lane heading westbound, the mayor says traffic has improved. The traffic is going so smoothly um, to, to the point where it seems abnormally smooth. And we would imagine that that will change as people become more comfortable and become more aware that the third lane is really working well. He expects the improved travel times from the additional lanes will convince more people to return to their old driving habits, something that's already happening for people like Carpenter. Now that the, sh the traffic pattern has started to kind of help in our favor a little bit, um, they're starting to encourage that back in the office. So that's how you know things are kind of on the mend. There are still some delays on the bridge during the overnight hours as DOT works on repaving detour lanes in both directions. Meanwhile, work continues to prepare for the demolition and reconstruction of the westbound bridge. On Monday, Governor Dan McKee asked lawmakers to allocate $20 million of federal COVID relief money for the project. In Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.